A few thoughts now on Donald Trump yet again outperforming Hillary Clinton. The Democratic nominee holding no public events today, instead calling into a radio show, and she talked on a conference call with national security advisors, we're told, but her campaign working overtime to reassure anxious Democrats who are increasingly nervous about their candidate's low energy or lack of energy and obvious lack of stamina. Trump's momentum in the polls doing nothing to calm them. Clinton's campaign manager today sent a memo to backers reassuring them that Clinton has a stronger path to 270 electoral votes. Yet recent polls show the Democratic nominee losing support among key groups. Both the latest Fox News and Quinnipiac polls show Clinton's advantage among millennials has shrunk from more than 20 points to a single digit lead. Clinton also underperforming now among Hispanic voters. Her support trails that of President Obama's among Hispanic voters four years ago, while Trump is performing just about as well as Romney in 2012, even though all the gurus and savants had predicted he would underperform Romney's numbers. Trump today also getting a boost from important donors whose support is both welcome and helpful to the candidate. Joe Ricketts, the biggest backer of the anti-Trump movement during the primaries, has now reversed course. The billionaire Ricketts is himself a strong personality and a critical ally for Trump, now planning to donate some million dollars to help Trump win the White House, as the Republican nominee is in striking distance of Mrs. Clinton. Casino magnate Sheldon Adelson, who's been measured in his support of Trump, is now planning to spend some $5 million to support Trump. With Trump now in striking distance of Clinton, we're watching big money write bigger checks now to boost Trump, while Republican congressmen and senators, even the recalcitrants, are stepping up for Trump. And with just seven weeks until Election Day, momentum is now building in Trump's favor.